So this is a quick video showing you how to do a disavow with SEMrush. So I will just talk you through the, what you do to do a disavow with the tool. Um, so you go to projects and you would obviously go to your site. I've got mine's called my site and it will bring up all the dif different kind of tools that you've got on SEMrush here. So it would be backlink audit that you would use for the disavow. Now, the first thing I want to talk about before I go through the dashboard here and what it does is the integrations part here. Integrations is key to getting more data. So you can integrate your search console, your analytics, and you can also integrate Majestic SEO. So for me, um, you know, SEMrush is a great tool and it pulls a lot of backlink data, but having Majestic SEO's data is also something I would want to to add to the mix to make sure that any of the data that I'm getting through my same rush dashboard is accurate and as good as it can possibly be. So make sure you do all your integrations here and then you run campaign. When you run the campaign it probably takes about 10-15 minutes for your for the tool to crawl your website and come back with all the data. And then it'll give you an overall toxic score, which I've got medium, and it'll tell you the volume of backlinks and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, it'll tell me that I've got 40, uh, 47 potentially toxic backlinks and 95% are non-toxic. It does come up here in red if you have anything that actually is toxic as well. So you want to make sure that you deal with the red and the orange rather than the green. But, uh, you know, it will show you down here some other data as well. Anchor types, follow versus no follow, and some various other uh, information there. But if you just click on the orange part here, or the 5%, it will show you the links that SEMrush considers toxic. Now, you've got a toxic score based between 0 and 100. And it's a formula that SEMrush have calculated to kind of give an indication as to whether links are toxic or not. Now, what I will say is, I have seen links on here that have said it's toxic and they're not actually toxic. So do keep a close eye on that. But to go through this, um, or to add these links to your disavow file, all you would do is look at this, for example, this one here. I would consider that toxic because I don't know anything about it and I don't really want to be associated with it so what i would do is tick that box and any other boxes that i see as toxic and then click delete and then delete to disavow now what this does is moves that particular link which you can see is now got a marker against it and it's now over into my disavow list anything that's got a question mark on there is for review so you go through all your links and check them all out and Again, there's one there, Chinese, Elvis, you know, these are not links that I want to be associated with. So I would remove them to the disavow file. And off they pop over to the disavow. And what happens after that is you go back up to the top and I'm just going to go back to overview and I'm just going to talk you through what everything is. It's obviously telling me my overall toxic score is low now. Um... Now what you've got is if you click audit, it will show you the list of all the websites that are potentially toxic. Remove is you can obviously add backlinks you'd like to remove eh, to remove for your review list. I don't really use that, but it's up to you if you want to use it. Disavow, that's the actual disavow file, which I'll come back to in a moment. It also shows you lost and found backlinks, and obviously the about part is just you know telling you what the tool's about. But what I'm going to do is go back to the disavow part here. So that's my disavow list. So anything that I find um, here that I add to my list or, or I want to add to my disavow list, it just copies across onto this list here. And what I can do is export that disavow file. So I just simply click that and it creates a disavow file for me. Simple and easy as that. And uh, what I would then do go to is the disavow part of the Google search console. There is no button to go there. You have to actually Google disavow. Make sure that you do upload the disavow file to both the HTTP and the HTTPS version of your website. 
click disavow links, choose file and upload the file that you've just got from SEMrush. I would always recommend that you do this every two or three months if you are subject of some spammer or sending bad links to your website then you can do it more frequently um, if you like but that is what the disavow file is all about you will have people debating whether a disavow actually has any benefit through my own testing it definitely does have a benefit i don't believe that you know semrush or any other tool provider would actively add these functions and features to the website if they didn't have a benefit and um, you know, there is people out there saying Google's clever enough to establish bad links and, and stuff like that. I certainly don't believe that is the case and I think it's good practice to remain on top of your uh, backlink profile and make sure it is as clean as it possibly can be. Um, so do it as regularly as um, you feel relevant and that is how you use the disavow section of the same rush tool. So any questions, do please get in touch with SEMrush.